any percent runs. Because I'm like, man, any percent. Ugh. Like, it's get. It, like, I get what you mean, though. It gets worse with the out of, out of bounds shit in, like, every iteration. So it'll be funny to see what Prime 4 comes up with. We uh, ignore Federation Force because, lol, 3DS, like, why the fuck? <laughs> like, who has money for that shit? Oh, shit, yeah, I'm okay. Although, to also be a bit fair on the other end of the... On the other end of the spectrum... Right? Is that uh, I haven't seen a Metroid Prime 2 run in about three, two or three years now. Yeah, literally two to three years. <clears throat> it starts out as you walk to the loading zone. Yeah, no, it's yeah, that's exactly it, man. You start out of bounds, like that's it, that's the game. You start out of bounds and you have to work your way in bounds. That was bad, I should not have jumped there. Oh, damn it. Yeah, 30 is bad. So, you know, then what you do after that is uh, you store, you start storing um, the message calls that you get from Prime 3 again. And uh, then you manage to like mission skip your way to somehow spawning a fighter jet from um, San Andreas. And then you slowly become the soft man. I don't know why my jump got eaten for that one hit there. I'm pretty sure that's the way Prime 4 is supposed to be done. Jank speed at the start, so that was the 31 there. I'm not exactly criticizing Prime 1 for its out of bounds. It's just that I thought the original controls on the GameCube were shit, that's all. Like, I didn't get, I just, just wasn't a fan of that game over um, Prime 2 and 3. Like, speedrun-wise, yeah, like, it's... I think... I guess mainly people are just, you know, shitting on it for... It's, uh... Space jump shit. Which are like, oh, it's a glitch, and it's out of bounds, and yada yada yada. And I'm like, well, no, not really. It's just a version-specific one, and it's, and it's kind of sucky a lot of the time. Like, I wouldn't know who would criticize Out of Bounds in that game, but hey, it's a, maybe it's a thing. But maybe that's the thing, like, if they think that game is too much Out of Bounds, they have, they have never seen another speed game in their fucking life. Like, goddamn, there are probably about five other speed games and cat with their own categories that have worse Out of Bounds than Prime 1. 
that I know of. And The Legend of Zelda is right fucking up there. Not even the granddaddy of them all, but it's right fucking up there with the 10%. Right there. Uh, let's see. What else do we have on the plate? We do have, you know, Prime 2, and it's like, have you seen fucking Prime 2 in comparison? Like, excuse me, game? Like, excuse me, people? Um... What else we got there? There's quite a few others, too. Uh... Oh, um, any fucking... Any 3D... Modern 3D Sonic game. Any modern 3D Sonic fucking game. I'll put that on the plate there. Fusion now has Out of Bounds. Like, it's any percent now has an Out of Bounds. Uh... Zero Mission, I don't think, has Out of Bounds, but... What else have we got here? What else have we got? Um, hmm. Oh, Mario Sunshine. Because I remember that, like, I was watching some videos about that at the time. And it's like, yeah, the 100% category has, like, so many fucking out of bounds, it's ridiculous. Uh, like, it's impressive to see, but it does get fucking ridiculous at the time. At those times. Um, Although 80% does have a few of those little tricks as well at the same time. Uh, what else is there? Some other big name games that aren't fucking like The Legend of Zelda. Not even The Legend of Zelda, like Ocarina of Time specifically. It's fucking all The Legend of Zelda games. Every single fucking one of them. Like that's a straight up fact. I'm just trying to fucking think of some other games now. Like, on purpose. Oh! Castle fucking Vania. Castlevania. How do I fucking forget Castlevania? And, like, the really po And pretty much all but the NES... All but, you know, the first four Castlevania games. And Rondo of Blood, I suppose. They... Every single fucking one of them have a have out-of-bounds tricks that let you skip to the end of the game that are fucking horrendous. In context. I know for a fact Circle of the Moon is probably one of the worst offenders. Right next to, um... Whatever the DS ones are. Now, don't get me wrong, I fucking love Circle of the Moon, but I hate how... The one thing I hate about it is that, like, the Out of Bounds any percent for that game is, like, just so fucking ridiculous. Like, the game, the rest of the game, like, I think the game's super interesting, it's just, you never fucking see it. Castlevania 2 can be beaten in five minutes? Well, fuck. I had no idea about that. Then again, I don't see many people playing Castlevania 2. Like, it's pretty, it's mostly all Symphony of the Night or, um, one of the other GBA games. No, yeah, barely the GBA games and then, like, some of the, um, DS games, which I don't really care for if they're not fucking Circle of the Moon, and I've never played. I don't know, I think there's like the Lords of Shadow one, which I know has a couple out of bounds tricks, but I don't know if they're used in a speedrun. Oh boy, all souls. Yeah, I'm sure that'll go over wonderfully. I just 
just dodge that. Oh, I got some lucky bubbles, so that's a thing. Alright, man. You, uh, you do you. You should really f focus on that driving, mate. Too many uh, idiots on the road. Don't need you to be one of them because you're distracted by my idiocy. Yeah, that is undoubtedly true, a universal problem, which will one day transfer to being too many idiots in space, if Futurama is what, uh, if anything, if Futurama is anything to go by. How am I saving time here? I had a terrible Laron Zone one. One, two, 
Fuck me, that would have been perfect. Second try is not bad. Alright, so apart from failing the teleporter strat once, that was actually alright. So I didn't die this time. Didn't die, and that's the important thing. Alright, I just need some good RNG for Skybase 2. And I'm set. Now, what am I doing? Oh, boy. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Oh shit, what am I doing? Woo! Woo boy, that uh that's uh that's a very close shave right there. I mean I've seen some close shaves, but uh that's uh that's a very close one. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Man, that was a uh, that was almost embarrassingly bad. <laughs> Although strangely, wait, have I actually died anywhere? I haven't died at all this run. I've just had some bad execution. Damn, this actually might be PP. Shit, this is PP. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, well, Eggman, you're gonna have to ruin this. <laughs> Damn. Oh boy. There we go. 
got it even got the jump at the end fade to black fuck well that's that's a speed run that is that is indeed a speed run <sighs> shit um Uh, I honestly did not plan, uh, for anything else after this. Well, I, I mean, this can be beaten, sure. I can get better on every stage. Because I did screw up Labyrinth Zone once a bit, but I don't recall dying anywhere. And Scrap Rain Zone, I could get that thing first try. But, um... And uh, Green Hill Zone has that. Actually, I got the strat in Green Hill Zone. Surprisingly. Now I have fifth place. Uh, Shentalk, I'm actually second on the leaderboard. I'm tied for second. And at this, I am not sure where I will place now with that shit scrap brain zone. But considering I didn't die so like five times on Sky Base, that might make that might make up for my time. Like, RTA-wise, um... <sighs> RTA-wise, if I'm 5th on the leaderboard, that's kind of impressive, I suppose? Like, if I'm only really just behind 5th place, RTA-wise, then yeah, I'm definitely above them. Um... Yeah, shit, now I don't know what to do, apart from, um... I guess... Rodea, I suppose? I haven't played that one in a while. Sonic 2 Game Gear? Fuck.